So it's been more than 18 days since Hamas broke through the Israeli world-class surveillance system and rained down thousands of missiles in the state of Israel, which has resulted in heavy casualties, but has also impacted the minds of the Holocaust survivors who are living in Israel. Now, hundreds of survivors of the Nazi Holocaust who live in Israel are once again facing the reality of war. With Hamas at this moment in custody of nearly about 200 hostages, Holocaust survivor Serena Blumfeld shares her experience following the 7th of October attack by Hamas. And it's an interesting panel that she, she seems to be drawing, isn't it? So, the social workers who look after the welfare of these Holocaust victims say that most of the elderly citizens are currently experiencing what is being dubbed as a post-traumatic stress disorder with constant triggers of the current war around them. Unfortunately, for some of them, uh, this has been a, a trigger. Uh, definitely uh, uh, a trigger for PTSD, uh, but not only. Uh, the stress of the war, the alarms. Uh, some of them uh, don't even want to go into a bomb shelter. They're so depressed, they don't care if they live or die. Now, the persecution of the Jews in 20th century Europe is seared into the collective memory of the state of Israel. And since this war broke out on the 7th of October, leaders both at home and abroad have been quick to evoke memories of the Holocaust. When remember, the European Nazis and their collaborators had systematically gone about murdering innocent people, that were six million Jews, across German-occupied Europe. And what is happening at this moment is, is being dubbed as, as something similar to what has happened with the Jews in the past. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.